Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and I made these uh, cute little envelopes from book pages. I did find some pages that had this border along the edge, so it was like a stripe all along the edge, and most of them, you know, turned out really cute with that uh, border. Some of them didn't have it, but still, uh, I really like how these ended up coming out and I made a bunch of them and then I added some paper embellishments and stickers and some more images to some of them. There's another one. This one. Just gonna get in a little closer. There we go. That one. And this one. So yeah, and the backs even have, you know, images on them. So and I just wanted to show you how I did it. It was quite simple. I just folded over one side. So this, this envelope is based on a square. So as long as you've got a square piece of paper, you can build the envelope from that. It helps if your line is straight. I didn't do. Let me try that again. There we go. And then I just trim off that extra. And then decide, you know, based on the back, how I would want that. So this might be good for well, cover. I don't know. That image is kind of nice, so maybe I'll try this way. Try this. So I fold those two in and have them meet. Keeping everything sort of perpendicular. And then at this point, you can bring this up. You can make it uh, longer, like so. By leaving it down or you can fold it up more and then making it a little bit smaller of an envelope so it's just depends on where your image falls and how big you want your envelope to be and then i take this bit and i fold it down like so and i get out my glue and then i glue along this edge in this corner along this edge Ooh. and then underneath here I glue Put that down and then come back and go the other way and the whole triangle and up that side and then And then that's it. Uh, then I would, I, I would do all of these, like fold them all at once. And then I would come back later and do my inking. So you can see I did the inking on all the edges. Uh, even if the color was dark, I would still ink along the edges there. So, all right, I'm gonna try another page. This one's a little bigger. Hopefully I can get this corner even. This paper was quite brittle, so I'm hoping not all that old of a book, so it's interesting that it was so brittle. The spine was broken and And then I think I'll take it in this way. This is a little bit crooked there. There we go. I 
Yeah, I mean, I can go, I go all the way down here, pull this. On that edge in the triangle along this edge under the flap and this triangle here and up there and then sometimes my my glue goes beyond the mark mostly it doesn't but sometimes it does and so I usually just go and uh, just give it a good fish inside the envelope to make sure we aren't sticking. So there is another one. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Try this one. This one's fun because it's two-toned. So I just make sure this edge here is lined up and then that corner is not crooked. Once you have that edge good, the rest of it is, will be pretty even. I can come in this way. Or let me check it out this way. So either way, it's, I guess I could go, yeah, either way it's gonna, same, same. Yeah, I made a bunch of these in a, in a pretty short amount of time, so I was pretty happy. And I thought they turned out really cute. So I was happy about that. So they're super easy. Try this one. Got a little design on it. We want the top or the bottom? Oof. I think this side. Make sure we match that corner up. Now I've been watching the show uh, Pole Dark. It's a PBS masterpiece theater show. Another one of those, I don't know, 19th century. It actually starts out, I think, in the 18th century. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go this way so we can see that a little bit when you open up the envelope. And I've been enjoying it quite a bit. It sort of reminds me of the Wuthering Heights story a little bit. Not quite as dark, but, you know, fairly dark in some spots, but they work pretty hard to give us happy endings, so I like that. I like a happy ending. That here in our little triangle along this edge. Little triangle, that edge, 
on this edge. There we go. Fold that. I like how that looks with the with the water and the ship. That turned out nice. And the back looks cool. It's a nice little vignette of the image. With these extra things. You know, you can kind of decorate them as you like. And you can do different sizes. So if you want to do a smaller one, you could even do, you know, this tiny if you wanted to. Should we try it? Should we do it? Let's do it. Let's get crazy and do a mini, a mini one. Yeah, pretty much all you need is a square. So let's try it. Let's try it and see what happens. Sure, these are even. Even Steven. Oh sure. It was quite easy. Huh? Oh, I turned I had to turn over India. Sorry, India. There you are, see? Ooh, India. Okay. <laughs> and the number 13 on there. That's cute. Yeah, I love that you can do this in any size. You know, it's not like measured, you know, exact. It's all relational measuring. As long as you have a square. That's what it is, relation. Relational measuring, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll just call it that, it makes it sound good. <laughs> Oh my goodness. The weather has been ridiculous. Like, I can't even believe how ridiculous it is. Oh, actually, see now this reminded me of another, of another step that may happen to you. So it's a good thing we did this. Check this out. So now, and it's a good thing on my tiny scissors, if you look right along this edge here, dun dun dun. It, it's like an extra spot there. So I'm just gonna, and you can either cut it off totally or glue it down. I glued it down on some just because it added a little bit more reinforcement. Let me see if I can find one in this batch here. Yeah, this one I glued down. Okay, so you can see this is the edge. I cut it and then glued it down on both sides there. Okay, so let's just check these. Yep, there were a couple of these that, I mean, it's super easy just to you just trim that right off. And then it doesn't interfere with putting things in your, in your pocket. And you probably wanna do that before you ink it. I know it's easier to cut it off, but it probably would be better to glue it down for reinforcement purposes. Reinforcement purposes. Okay. Let's see here. But yeah, just trim those off. Okay, now let's go back to my little envelope. So that was really easy. Like I said, it, uh, you can do it with any size square. So, got little ones and we got big ones. We had fun with finding images, like this was a little owl charm, and then uh, this bicycle image was fun. I used one of my little clusters. It's like a three layer. I used a magazine flower. Uh, this is actually a sticker stamp and some extra scraps. St these are stamp stickers, some vintage images I put on there. This is the stamp sticker. You didn't see that. A uh, little flower, some images, Floris Foster Jenkins recital. So that was a fun one. Another flower, a little something there. Yeah, I had fun with these. I put uh, little piece of paper this direction 
I added some fun paper along this edge and a portrait of a lady and some little scraps. Butterfly, and I found this image, I put it in there. There was something, oh, I remember, it was like man walking on the moon or something. <laughs> and I was like, that doesn't really look vintage. So I had to cover that up. And this neat little flag one. Here's another one with some scraps. So here's a scrap here, scrap here, and then the things. little border scrap at the top. Here's one of this piece I've been saving forever, and I just never liked it on anything, but I really like it on this envelope. So finally got to use that little key. And uh, this is from a catalog and image and the other half of the bicycle. <laughs> so yeah, you can just kind of dig through your stuff and decorate them up. Well, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you give this a try. I hope you aren't sad about these old books that were broken anyway. Check this out. It had like all these like water stains and it looked like this. So that's why I thought this one was okay to, to cut up a little bit. All right. Hope you found this helpful. I have a few items for sale in my Etsy shop. The link is in the description. I have some digitals and I have some physical items. Thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.